Hi, we're John, John and Leah. Leah. And in this video, we are going to dish out the goss on who is more dateable. Joel or, or Leah. Leah. You guys have been loving these personality videos and the story time vids. So we just thought, let's just have a chat. Let's, let's explore this topic. <laughs> Do you know what? I did see some other YouTubers, Rose and Rosie, they did a video titled How Dateable Are We? And they yeah. did a quiz, which was very fun. But I thought what could be more fun is us going through our own opinions of okay, how dateable the, the other, other person is. is. So like the bad, the things that we think partners might struggle with, the good things as well. Because oh who better to describe it than your best Good's friend? Friends. Okay, one thing that I think you have struggled with, yeah. which by oh. the way, I'm going first about you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, who's <laughs> going first? I did that in the last video though, where I was like, let's, let's talk about you. you. This might not be something that would bother the other person loads, but I know it has bothered you. Yeah. So much so that it's like actually affected your life. Okay. And I it's see. your sweaty sweat. The sweaty it's sweat. Sweaty sweat. It's my sweaty I was sweat. about to say sweaty palms and sweaty underarms, yeah. but then I just came out with sweaty sweat. Sweaty sweat. So basically, you've worried about holding hands because of being clammy. Yeah. But I remember when we used to do jobs, this isn't even about dating, and you wouldn't shake anyone's hand when we meet people because no. you'd be like Leah I really hope they don't go in for a handshake can you not go in for a handshake because then they won't offer me one as well so we had yeah. this pre-agreement because of the sweat mm -hmm. I prefer hugs in that aspect because then I'm not having to touch hands I have clammy hands and I have very sweaty armpits I have something called hyperhidrosis so the way I've dealt with that recently is I get Botox in my armpits yeah which stops me from sweating so now it's not a problem yeah and I can wear gray t-shirts and I can wear just whatever I want without yeah. getting sweat patches at all yeah and I I absolutely love it. I swear by it and it's great. But also something that comes with that is just naturally like just smells and you're like, I luckily I wasn't that much of a smelly person even no. though I sweat a lot. You can never really smell it. No. But I've been using a new deodorant and this is a seamless integration seamless. with Wild. I've been using Wild deodorants and they are sponsoring today's video. So let us Yay. just talk to you a little bit about them because the sweat problem is real. <laughs> <laughs> so Wild is a natural deodorant that actually works and I know everyone's reservations about deodorants uh, that are natural are that they're not going to work for you and the truth is is that an antiperspirant will block your pores whereas a natural deodorant will not block your pores. Your pores will be open but you're not going to smell mm -hmm. which is great and I used Wild on the train here today and I've got to tell you Joel, no smell, you no smell sweat. Fresh. I smell mm -hmm. fresh. Thank you. No acting required. <laughs> yeah you do smell fresh and I really love it because it's also very sustainable. Everything they do is about being eco or reusable. So for example, when you get your package, it even says on it that this is a Ooh. carbon neutral delivery. What was this over here? Here we go. Yes, it says CO2 neutral yes. on the packaging, which is amazing. And then when you open it up, you also get one of these, which is a reusable aluminium case for your deodorant, which lasts you yes. a lifetime. And then you can just scroll up like this. I love that. I think this one is their That's new the, one. Um, sandalwood. sandalwood. Pa is it patchouli? Is yeah. How do you say it? I'm not sure if you say it patchouli. 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 <laughs> Let's call it patchouli. But I, I do love sandalwood. Yeah. I love that smell. And then the refills that you've got in yours. Yeah. I think I got the same actually. 100% compostable. Oh, I love that. It's just to make literally everything is reusable. Fresh cotton and sea salt. That's a bit of me. Yeah, smell it. Oh, I love that. Isn't it so that's good? That's what I want my bedding to smell like. But don't worry, I'm not going to roll it all over my bedding. No, no, <laughs> that's keep it on your pits. But let yeah. me just show you how easy it is to refill. So you pinch the sides. Yeah. Yes. You lift it out like that and then you chuck that away once you've used it. Put a new one on, put it in, and there you go. And Love mine it. even has my name Joel, on it. Joel, that's which so I'll do cute. It in a close -up. So the refills that you just saw there, they're made out of bamboo pulp and they're completely recyclable and 100 percent biodegradable, which is really nice because often with non-natural deodorants, often you'll find that they're just plastic and mm -hmm. it's not great to keep buying those. Just killing the planet. That's why traditionally I don't like the roll-ons because they use so oh, much plastic, plastic and then you just bin them and get another one whereas these ones are just as you said fully biodegradable and you get your nice aluminium case yeah it feels like good quality mm -hmm. and it is good quality yeah. so there are six different case colors that you can choose from and a range of seven different scents and that means you can switch them up each and every month it's also unisex so you can get your case engraved giving it a nice little forever purchase and it's just a nice little personal touch i just love personal things i don't mm -hmm. know about you joel yeah i just love anything that's got names on it I know. put my you name on it. it and i love it you've got your coasters with like jay my I, mean, I love all that. I'm into yeah, it. I'm doing and it. can I just say about the application, one thing I noticed. So before when I used to use a different roll-on, won't say the name 
name of the brand. At night, I'd shower and a wooden beel of the roll-on wouldn't disappear from me. It would mm. still be there. I couldn't wash it off. Felt like the underarm was covered in almost like a super glue. But whereas with Wild, it's got that good coverage, but then it, it showers off easy. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but that's just for me, like the application and the feel of it was quite important. And especially with a deodorant that I had reservations about, and then I was like, tried it. And I was like, this is the real deal. I like this. So yeah. Well, amazing. And the good thing is we have a discount for you. So if you use the code JL20, you can get 20% off. Try it out. Let us know your thoughts because we absolutely love it. Also, there's worldwide shipping. So it's available everywhere. And don't forget, if you do get it engraved, like send us a little picture, tag yeah. us on Instagram, mm -hmm. tag wild as well. And let's all share our cases. Yeah, let's all smell fresh. <laughs> Forgot to tell you, Joel, mine also includes a gorgeous bar of soap, which smells like orange zest, which I cannot wait to try. I didn't try this. <sighs> anyway, that is a valid point about my Botox and my sweating. Okay, so, yeah. but hopefully now I've learned a way to manage it. Yes. And hopefully I can attract a partner with my dry pits. I'm with, working on that. Yeah, <laughs> with or without the sweat, you'd be fine dating, but it was more your own. You had to mm. do something about it that yourself to feel comfortable. You, oh, it's the worst when someone me. tries to hold your hand and you haven't told them you've got clammy hands yet. And you're like, mm, you're like, what do I do? I'm do sorry. I wipe it on my jeans and, and then hold them? <laughs> yeah. Do I roll my wild on my hands? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, my turn. Well, I think, firstly, I think you're a very fun person to date. The funny thing is, we've been on it, loads of dates. We've been on loads of dates. <laughs> this is what I mean, though. They're like, a friendship is very different to a relationship. So, in a way, I also can't imagine you being all like gooey and like, oh, like God. soppy and coupley. Yeah. Because you're my friend and I've not, like, I, I now have since seen you like that with Ash. Yeah. A little Do bit. I? But not, not the gross, though. But no, not in a gross way. That's the thing. Never Thank to you. like a ridiculous extent. But I think you'd be really fun to date and really funny. <laughs> I think we've mentioned it before, so I won't labour the point, but I think you have some deverish behaviours that spill over into your life. Yeah. <laughs> when you're, you're like, life. Your life. <laughs> yeah, I think you're just very specific with tea drinking. Yeah. And, and it needs to be the perfect temperature, it needs to be the perfect colour and yeah. strength. Yeah. And I think you'd have no qualms in tasting something like that and being like, no, make me a new one. Right, yes. If I know that I'm comfortable enough and they are comfortable enough to cope with it. So, for instance, Atch made a terrible terrible tea the other day and I just poured it down the drain and that's horrific. Do <laughs> just, better please. I just went, that is the worst tea you've ever made. But equally, when he makes an amazing one, I really praise people. I go, ah, you've just made a world class cup Yeah, but tea. is that for you or is that for him? You've praised him yeah. just to reward him to be like, no, make another amazing. good tea and you'll get more praise. <laughs> I don't even know if he likes, yeah, I think he likes praise. I think everyone likes a little praise, yeah. so I, I love praising people so much. I, I just That's love the it. other thing, you love compliments. Oh, I love compliments Are you so quite much. difficult to date in terms of, do you need to be complimented all the time? I no, don't know. I, I don't know, Joel, I'll challenge you on that. Like, okay. I'm with someone who doesn't compliment. Oh, uh, that must be tough. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. But honestly, Joel, I, I I think it's really funny now that I like moved back in with my so I'm in with my dad and um, my partner's there as well, partner, boyfriend. Uh -huh. And basically my dad was like so complimentary. I came downstairs with makeup on today and he's like, My Angelia Jolie. Like he calls me Angelia Jolie. Like Angelia Jolie. <laughs> Angelia and he's like, My Angelia Jolie, you're amazing. And like such a big cheerleader and like my boyfriend's yeah. just sitting there like this is laughing because he doesn't compliment me and I'm like, lol, mm. my dad's literally my biggest cheerleader. So it's really funny because I've obviously grown up with compliments yeah. and now I'm with someone who doesn't compliment. So how do you deal with that? Because surely you must have had a stage in your dating before yeah. you got that comfortable with that where you're like, oh, oh you, you don't compliment me. me. So I think, <gasps> I remember this, happened? sorry. <laughs> but I remember you telling me a story about when you were getting ready for a night out or something yeah. and who Ash was just like, cool, let's go. And you were like, Ash, <laughs> yeah, and you're like, do you think I think I look nice and it was like well yeah obviously and you were like see sometimes it's quite nice if you think that I look nice just Say tell it. me I look nice and it was like oh, okay yeah yeah all yeah, right I was basically gonna answer it the same way I, I taught him that if he thinks something in his head he has to say it out loud so I was trying to stop the like the internal thoughts I was like if you think you know oh, Leah looks lovely today just voice it say it just be say afraid it. to say it <laughs> Don't keep it to yourself. Absolutely, just do mm. it. And he has loads of very, very internal. Mm. So sometimes I'll be like, what are you thinking? 
<laughs> and then like, he might say it, he might not. Yeah. So it's just trading, really. Mm, it is. Get that whip out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can't change people. No, you can't. So obviously, I can encourage the compliments mm. or the non compliments. You know, he, equally, he's very vocal about things I'm not doing right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I think the training and the accepting of that people won't always, mm. you know, give you what you want. You might no. want a compliment, you're not going to get one. No. He'll give you the cold, hard truth. That's yeah. what he'll give you. Oh gosh. Well, that's what we have viewers for, the compliments. The go and so the cold hard please leave us a compliment down below. <laughs> yeah, and the cold hard truth. Yeah, you guys I know, are savage. savage. Okay, I have to go on to something about you. Positive, dateable positive. Very loyal, fiercely loyal. Too loyal. <laughs> Do you remember when I was gonna give up YouTube because someone I dated oh, told me no. I should get an office job? And I literally told no. Lynn, I was like, I think I'm going to need to get you an office like, job. I'm really thinking about getting a job job. And I was like, but Joel, we're doing fine. And yeah. you, you were like, yeah, but it's not a job job, is it? And I was like, but it's our job. But it's our job. We and need it's, it. And it's probably better paid than any office job, job that I could get. So I'm yeah. like, yeah, it's ridiculous. I, was like, I don't think you're qualified for that big man. No. <laughs> big man, take it down. But I think that was the problem. We both had this like, well, you had this thing where you were like, I'm unqualified. And I was like, well, if you are, then so am I. Yeah. You've been to university. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We're screwed without YouTube. So, <laughs> so <laughs> basically, luck. I think, yeah, fiercely loyal thank is good. You, um, and what's another really... Okay, I'll try and give you one one compliment sandwich. Yeah. So I have to now do a bad do one a and negative. then a good one. Yeah. A bad one. Maybe, you know, keep, keep your cards to your chest. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. maybe you don't say every... Like, not a total open book. Yeah, I think so. I think I compartmentalise quite a lot. So right. I'm sort of like, I'm an open book in many ways, but then I'm also then not. So like yeah. I can be open with you and my friends and stuff. And then yeah. for other people, I'm like completely cut, closed off. Do you think like maybe when you meet someone, do you do like, actually no, do you do cold when you meet them or do you do like really, do you have a, a thing? I'm just very friendly. The thing is, I don't think anyone would ever know that I'm like a bit like keeping my cards closed because yeah. also, I try to, like, it's not my natural default because I'm a very open person. Yeah. I'm very trusting and I'm like, I fall in love with people in like two minutes of meeting them. Yeah, you'll have to get a tattoo there. Yeah, <laughs> with their name on it. No, heart on your sleeve. Heart. Oh yeah, heart, heart on your sleeve. sleeve. Literally, we'll be on a date and then I'll be like, so are we getting married then? <laughs> Well, I'm trying to learn to like hold back a See, bit. See, I don't, I think people that have the whole like, you know, absolutely loved it, like, shall we get married? I love that. And I don't think mm. that those people should change, but I understand that no. they feel they need to change in order to protect themselves from heartbreak. Mm. But that's one I'm like, oh no, don't be the stone cold. No. You know what I mean? Mm. Don't turn up and be like, mm, mm, mm. mm, -mm. Would you know you what I mean? Ooh. Oh, oh no, battery. It will last for a little bit okay. until it dies. I remember, like, you know the cliche of, like, you need to be fine by yourself before you meet someone else. Disagree. I remember, well, yeah, you changed my mind on that because it was like, well, actually, why should you be? Mm. Like, some people like being in relationships. Yeah. And that's fine. Oh, I've never not had a boyfriend. No. <laughs> I love boyfriends. <laughs> I love boyfriends. <laughs> I joke about it all the time with that because um, someone in his family has come out of a long-term relationship and, you know, they've got all the, the people intervening, like, she needs to be fine by herself and I was like that's funny really because I've just always been in a relationship and I absolutely hard disagree like I think you know we've all got things we have to work on I have to work on being better at alone time yeah. but I love being around other people you do. I will leave here Joel today and I will be down no I leave social events I feel down I have to be around people I need yeah, life you need I the need energy. and if I have I don't want to be on my own life wasn't about being on our own it's about mm. like you know think way back when we're all together like mm, community vibes that's it what it's about for me today's generation they're just so isolated <laughs> honestly I, I i know so i hard hard disagree that yeah. you have to have like you know if you you know they say like if you were in a relationship for six years you need six months you need that amount of years in months oh, equivalent alone single time. alone time well no. yeah i was alone for like what a month and a bit and then i found a new boyfriend just get yeah. on with it guys upgrade <laughs> Woo! oh my god when i got with Atch and um on my dad said it was an upgrade and then he went and she will upgrade again <laughs> like as in like he won't be here for long yeah. and he said it and now me and Arch have this quote where we go and she will upgrade again <laughs> like when you're updating your phone contract 
right. <laughs> she will upgrade. And she will upgrade again. again. Um, so what else have I said? Yeah, sometimes you can be, you know, maybe pri you know, mm. private, keep it in. Sometimes you're an open book. Fiercely loyal. Um, oh, you, also yeah. indecisive, horrendous. I can't decide so anything. So we have to, like, you know, oh, Joel, what restaurant do you want to go to? Or wherever I you want to go. Mind. I'm like, okay, well, well I don't want to, I don't want you to be bending over for me. I want I you know. to be. And it's really bad. I've had that experience really with really plenty annoying. of people I've dated where they're like, your worst trait is that you don't decide anything. Don't decide anything. Nothing. And I need to learn to make decisions. What can you do to train the decision? Just start making some. But I can't. It fills <laughs> so me with fear. So if it's like, what if, if but you But aren't I decisive it? in work? Yeah, you are at work. You're like, this is the trip. We're going on that trip. Like, yeah. You are, you are. Yeah. Maybe it's like food orders. It's like day to day. I just don't care. Like, I'm like, Pink or yeah. blue. You're like, I don't know. I don't, I don't care. Like, someone else choose. Yeah. You actually know, you know that you need to delegate to, you know, like someone else can choose the colour of that wall yeah, or something. Yeah, because that, that is wasted time for me. Yeah. The, the, the deciding which restaurant to go to, I don't, just You're tell like, me where we're going. That's not making me any money. My, <laughs> the favourite thing one of my exes ever did was oh, like, we go to a restaurant and he actually said to the waitress, like, don't give him a menu I'm choosing for him. And he didn't ask my permission and most people would be like, that's so like but bad. It. But I loved I it. I was like, oh, minute. decisions. I have to like, choose my food. He knows what I like, what I don't like. That is amazing. No, I, I do quite love that actually. Mm. And when we were in Brighton, you went to the, you like went to the loo or something and I just ordered our breakfast oh, and I didn't I even tell you what you were getting mm. but it was fine wasn't it i've got yeah. the avocado with crispy bacon on top on the toast with French eggs, and you're like yeah there's very few things that you'll probably be like absolutely not to but i already know those yeah. things you know no mushrooms yeah so if i know that then i can't really go wrong yeah fine that's yeah it's the indecisive for me yeah <laughs> indecisive, indecisive for, for me. me um what's the other thing that's it probably that's it what's mine um diva don't you are. Diva, needs com Diva needs compliments, can't be on her oh, own. Yeah, needs comp yeah, that's it really. Diva needs compliments, can't, can't be, be on, on her own. own. The migraines get in the way of plans quite sure, a lot. that's true. Sometimes I, our plans health. get cancelled because of your health and I'm like, imagine being married to this. <laughs> We've got a marriage, we've got a work marriage. Yeah, we do, and I know we're, how to handle it. We're and, financially yeah. linked. When I did my credit mm. check, it was like financial link to Joel Wood. And I was like, oh my God, if he Oops. gets into bad credit, so do yeah. I. <laughs> we're linked now. We're linked financially. So be aware of that before you get into a duo. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're both quite good with the money. So. Yeah, if mm. you were to like spend loads of money and get yourself into like 100 grand of debt, then um, yeah. We're ruined. We're ruined. <laughs> 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 That's true, oh but we're not God. going to. No, we're so not going right. to. No, we're not going to, darling. We're literally like, oh, should I get a coffee on the joint account? Or oh, I don't yeah. want to take the piss. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we right. are very good. Joel, we've done loads. That was really good. We have. Video. That was really fun. I enjoyed that. That was good. Let us know down... I was going to say downstairs. Let us know downstairs <laughs> what you thought, if any of those surprised you, or what your imagination of what we're like, your impressions of us would be. Yeah, and also comment below what your best and worst thing is maybe in dating. If you're that self-aware. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're very, very self-aware. Self very self-aware. Um, and thank you to Wild for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, you can get your biodegradable deodorant and all of your refills. If you use our code JL20, you get 20% off. Try it out, guys. It smells absolutely divine. Yeah, it's so nice. And so nice. Absolutely love Upgrade it. your underarms. Upgrade your, your underarms. underarms. And she will upgrade again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Over and out. See, See you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.